drove the FD today. Um, it was actually broken for two months. Found out that it was just a uh, flooded motor. You know, typical FD stuff. <laughs> well, the FD, some coolant issues. Well, it's actually running right now. I don't think I've ever really done this. I did it once, I bled it once, but not recently. Nice day today. Not really, it's kind of cold, but. Hello! All right, so, Adam got bored, decided to put the HKS cams in. Um, so, here we go. Can't wait to see what this thing sounds like. I got the cams on Zilvia for like 250 shipped and as I can tell like the lobes are really nice and clean. We're gonna be sending out this and the valve cover. Get it powder coated. Adam fixed Adam fixed the manifold. This was all cracked right there. So look at that. Amazing job. That's what happens when Adam gets bored. Pretty excited. Silk Road. Makes, ooh. These were in the box of goodies that I got from Japan. This is a G Corp dipstick holder. Better than a spring. Also got the G Corp fuse box sticker. And I had to get the gold one to match the engine bay. I don't know where I'm going to put this yet, so we'll go see. Let's go ahead and put this on right now, actually. Got the little sticker on there. Whoop. G Corporation. So we just take this little guy out. The little things that count, people. You're building a car, building a motor, building whatever the hell you're building. Should clean, should clean this dipstick a little bit. Nice.
plane, dude. Simple as that. sanded down the um, the stick tube. Looks a lot cleaner. I might paint that. We'll see. I'm gonna repaint that for sure instead of buying a new one. This thing looks pretty freaking sick. And I got the clear cast cover on. You know? That's what 20 is life. Don't forget that. Adam's working on this side right now. Taking out all of the 30,000 year old uh, Hoses. Look at this oil filter, it's so like messed up. Do an oil filter relocation, we'll see. So this is the current state of the SR. Um, it's not bad for what it is, kind of dirty, but I guess it's my fault for not keeping up with maintenance, but it's an SR. Just kidding, never, don't never say that. Uh, it's pretty good. Not bad. I use a uh, uh, Rotella. Swap it out. I don't like using it. Oh. Well, Adam's working on the motor. Um, I am going to work on the wiring harness. Taking rid, getting rid of all the crusty, you know, that stuff, that stuff, that stuff. And putting split loom on it. So all this garbage. Did most of that side. I'm gonna be painting that gold as well. Leaving that, uh, yeah, I'll leave that black. And then I'll probably repaint this guy right here because it's, like, it's kind of crusty. Taking this off, repaint that. All right, let's get started with that. So I legit just bought this split loom from Amazon. I used it before my R32. Works perfectly fine. It's gonna come like this. I'm just gonna tape the ends off, obviously. So let's get started on that right now. Got most of the wiring done. It's nice and wrapped over here. That big boy right there. All of this. Nice and wrapped. Nice and wrapped. Blah. Cool. Uh, these are gonna be sent out to get chromed. Kinda like these guys. You know what I'm saying? Motor, taking part, waiting on parts from Njuku. Where'd you put the coal? Oh, there it is. I found it, and then fix it up a little bit. A lot better than uh, before. These are gonna get sent out. The valve cover is dirty as hell. And this thing's probably gonna be done soon. Oh, I have to send out the rack too. And painting this base almost done let's go all right thanks again for watching slowly getting better at vlogging here and there but uh we got a lot of new content coming in um s is actually kind of done but we'll go from there thanks for watching and uh keep on watching